So for today, we're going to be looking at Warlocks, more specifically the Worm Guard set. So if you guys don't know if this is your first video, we usually review an armor set, which is both right here because this is the review video and then the shader video. And then from there, we make individual class videos. So for the Hunters and Titans, they're both right here. So for this one, we're going to be going through the Worm Guard armor set. And specifically, we're going to be getting pieces from that set and then making individual sets from those pieces. So that's pretty much how I operate. If a new armor is out, I usually do a review video, a shader video, and then three videos for the Hunter Titans and Warlocks. So Warlocks, let me know what you guys think. I definitely think you guys got some pretty cool pieces. But again, let me know what you guys think. I appreciate all of you guys. Uh, if you guys can do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification because I do think my content is worth it considering I post quite a bit of content. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Let's just get into it. So to start off, we're going to be using the helmet and I definitely think this looks pretty cool. So for the helmet, obviously is the worm guard stuff but for the arms we're going to be using arms of optimacy for the chest piece we're going to be using the midnight sun ornament for the wings of sacred dawn for the boots hexer boots and then for the bond we're going to be using ancestral bond with the chit and slate combo for shadering refined revels for the chest piece boots and arms and then for the helmet dream cycle because unfortunately i didn't like how dream cycle or refined revels looked on the worm guard helmet so a few things to note here remember that the helmet for the warlocks takes off colors really really bad so that's why i'm using dream cycle instead because i wanted that black in there and i didn't mind the white like coloring for the ropes i didn't really care for that so i definitely think this one looks pretty cool um i have really no complaints about this one i think the arms of optimacy with the midnight sun ornament for the wounds of sacred dawn look really cool together and then the hexer boots i think gives that set a little bit more robustness i guess you would say it looks heavier it looks a lot like scarier too my the funny thing is if i were to tell you like you could switch this out is it'd be the helmet the helmet you could definitely switch out because i don't think it looks good with this set um it's one of those situations where i like the set that i made just not the main piece that i used it with so i would definitely tell you the helmet could definitely be switched out for something else if you like this as for the next set we're going to be using nezarek sin and we're gonna be using the arms from the worm guard set so for this one i ended up just going for kind of like an egyptian theme to it which i didn't even know i was gonna go for but here we are for the chest piece pyrex ascent vestment for the chest piece for the boots atavastic av av uh, idol boot and then for the bond elect of the empty bond so this definitely looks super cool uh, my favorite thing about this is just the fact that i'm using a shader that i rarely sh i rarely use a shader which is imperial opulence now when i say rarely use i specifically mean as the actual main coloring because i actually don't like imperial opulence specifically that yellow i'm not the biggest fan of it now when i use the other one i forgot what it's called hopefully i have it up right now but when i use the opposite of imperial opulence then it's different because that one the plate armor is purple and it looks really really good but this one actually looks pretty cool to me. Like, I love the usage of the arms. The fact that they're symmetrical is really dope. But it also really goes well with everything else. I feel like this is such a good uh, Nezarek Sin Egyptian look. Like, for real, for real, this is super good. Let me know what you guys think. As for the next set, I'm going to be real with you guys. This is the L of the group. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Apothesis Veil is actually one of my favorite exotics right now. Just because it's a, it is a lot of fun for the arms the anka seeker 5 i think that is that one's pretty cool for this whole look just because again ramshackled like chess piece which is the worm guard chess piece is gonna go well with the bond as well because they're both from the same set and then liminal voyager boots because honestly i didn't really want, like find anything better not only that i like the fact that the like not chess piece but the boots specifically the like around the groin there's a discoloration there and it adds that sense of like unevenness i guess you would say so the only thing i would switch out would probably be shader the nougat delight i don't think is a good choice for this i like it on other sets but this one it's it's not to the strengths of nougat delight which is plate armor so i would probably switch this out for one of the shaders that the hunters was actually using for that set which is called the um which is the tangled rust i think the tangled rust is going to be a little bit of a, of a better choice just because the tangled rust is going to give that armor a little bit more color and a lot more muted color so that way it actually looks like my warlock has been using this armor for a while so again this one is the l of the group not saying it's bad because i definitely think you could improve upon it but i would definitely switch out the shadering to start 
And then last but not least, I decided to go for something casual, which I actually don't think this looks terrible. I actually pretty, pretty impressed with this one now that I'm like looking back at it. So for the helmet, I have another world for the arms and chest piece contender gloves and then the technologic robes and then the technologic bond to go with it. And then the boot obviously is the worm guard boot. So it's funny because I did actually mention cryptic insignia for the shadering for the boots and I'm co completely correct. It looks amazing with this set. I didn't want anything crazy for the boots because I wanted this just to look a little casual. The only thing that I think would be better if the like maybe if you could have the color for the boots would like specifically the armor on the ankle if you could take that out and just make it black i think this whole set would look a lot better but yeah you can never go wrong with a casual set especially for i have another world i think it looks really cool with a casual set just because you look like a main character almost so yeah warlocks let me know what you guys think i definitely think you guys have some cool pieces from the warrant guard set that being said it's gonna be a lot of fighting because i think the first set really really cool the only problem is i would switch out the helmet the second set i think is probably one of the best ones i've made so far for a nezarek look and then we get to like the third one which i was like again i think just switch out the shader and i feel like it'll look good maybe switch out the arms or something a little bit better but i think the fourth set is also really really cool so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys we're gonna be going through the seasonal ornament video now we're gonna do the review the shader and basically how we did it with the worm guard stuff and then after that we're pretty much done for armors it's been a long journey considering the season's been out for almost eight wait actually eight weeks now and i'm just finally getting done with all of the armor that we've got in this season that's not even including some of the armors from the events that we're going to be getting so far so like guardian uh, Ga guardian games is coming up soon i'm going to be making a video for those armor sets crota as well i haven't completed crota's armor set for for the warlocks i'm just missing the chest piece and unfortunately my clan is pretty much dead right now um so getting those is going to be a little bit challenging i might lfr for that or <laughs> i might go into i don't know how how destiny 2 calls it but uh looking for a group is what it's called so i probably might just go into actually we have look we have that in game now so i might just do that but yeah i have a lot of content still for you guys don't think it's oh the armor's over tony doesn't have content i still have a fuck ton of content for you guys we still have the exotic videos we still have the ornament video that i still haven't done for the the new exotic ornaments that we got this season and the new theme videos that i'm going to be doing the thematic videos so i think the first one we're going to start with is uh i think it's going to be the uh the tactical video so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i will see you guys later